Hello everyone and welcome to a Create with Kylie art tutorial video. In this video, we will be exploring eight different artistic techniques that artists use when painting with acrylic paints. If you want to say thanks, click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get creative! For this lesson, you will need acrylic paints, a palette, water, painters or masking tape, a paper towel, and of course, your sketchbook. Begin by taping off eight boxes across the spread of your sketchbook. And don't forget to de-stick your tape before applying it directly to the paper, or it might tear when you remove it. The first artistic technique that we will look at is dry brush. This is where you're painting with a dry brush and intentionally showing the brush strokes or the brush's bristles when you paint with it. This gives you a nice type of texture to your painting. Notice how I separate the blobs of paint on my palette. When I want to mix a color, I take some paint from each blob and pull the colors together. This way I have the ability to tweak each mixed color one way or the other. Acrylic paints dry quickly, so it's good practice to mix colors on the palette and not on the paper or canvas. Scumbling is a variation of the dry brush technique where you paint over a first layer of color. Make sure that your first layer is dry before doing this and then find another color and using a circular motion so that there's a bit of visual texture, um, apply a second layer of paint. It's better to use a stiff bristled brush because you do want to see that first layer in between the brush strokes of the second one. Combing is applying a thick layer of wet paint and then before it dries, flip your paintbrush over and use the other end to scratch lines, patterns, shapes into it. It's a really cool effect. Painting with a soft edge means that you blur the edges of your brush strokes and you soften them. Hard edge is when you paint very carefully to get a crisp, clean edge to your paint stroke. Taping or masking your paint is similar to hard edge. You have a bit more control over it where you apply tape down on the paper and then paint right over top of it. And then when it's 100% dry, peel the tape off. You have a nice, crisp, clean mark. A wash is very similar to the artistic techniques that artists use when working with watercolor paints. Just mix a lot of water with the acrylic paint and you can do the same things you do with watercolors. In fact, you can watch the watercolor artistic technique and do many of the activities there using acrylics. Here, I'd like you to try to make a gradient where you start with the paint from the palette right onto the paper and then instead of dipping your brush back into more paint, gradually rinse it off, use your paper towel and pull some of the paint off so that it becomes transparent. The glaze technique is painting over a dried first layer with a second watered down layer. It alters the color. You can um, push it towards a color that you want. You can add a little bit more light or dark or a, tone, a purpley tone as you see here. It just fine tunes colors.
And there you have it. Eight acrylic artistic techniques. Remember, my friends, stay awesome and be creative. Until next time.